that the enemy will bring you different thoughts if something's not working out, that God is somewhere away from you, like he's distant. Remember that Jesus tried to tie God, Jesus himself, the Holy Spirit, us into one. We're one. That's how we're intertied. We're not separated. The enemy wants us to see ourselves separated. He wants to see Father God there. He wants to see Jesus over there, Holy Spirit somewhere else. Well, actually, Holy Spirit, like, you know, come down. Uh, and so we're saying all these funny things, but none of those things are scriptural. They're cool things to say, but they're not scriptural. If we keep saying, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit, come every other Sunday, he's going to be confused. And I know I'm saying in a funny way, he cannot be confused, but he cannot respond, right? Because Holy Spirit responds by our obedience and by our faith. So we have to agree with that truth. If we don't agree and don't believe that he's in us, he cannot move through us because we're not in alignment with the truth. He doesn't just do things on his own. When he moves into us, he has to work with us and move through us. That's why the renewal of the mind. That's why Apostle Paul and all the apostles talked about how important it is to renew our mind and become spiritually minded versus carnally mind. Carnally mind is when we're looking for him somewhere else. Spiritually minded is when we understand that he's already in us and we agree with these scriptures and allow him to move through us. Amen. So carnally mind is if you want to pray for somebody, you're looking like, God, you know, please, please heal this person. Come from your, you know, whatever you're at and do something for this person. That's carnally minded. Why? Because you're separating yourself from yourself from him and him from that person. Spiritually minded, you lay hands on the sick and say, Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you. Sickness, go now. Why? Because life, the spirit of life is already in you and you're just releasing it. That's being spiritually minded is when you're in alignment with the scripture. Carnally minded is when you're doing something that does not line up with the scripture. Amen?